Hello, how are you today? We had so much fun yesterday in math. You can see that I've got a lot of great fun and fun things for you today. You do need to get something to write with and on and as well as your algebra tiles. So if you'll take a minute and grab that, that would be awesome. So we've been doing a lot of things with numbers and variables and exponents and today we're going to think about combining like terms. So our goal is I can combine like terms at the end of class. This is what we're going to get to. 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus x squared minus 2 minus x. Now my, you might think, wow, this is too much, but I'll show you step at a time. We'll use these tools and I bet you'll be able to do it. So here we go. Let's think first of apples and bananas. So if I have one apple and then I add two apples, how many apples do I have? Well, I can combine them because they're the same, they're alike, and I have three apples. Well, I can do the same with bananas. If I have one banana and another banana and I'm adding another banana, I can combine them, they're the same, they're like terms, and I have two bananas. Well, let's see this with some pictures. Here's our two apples plus one apple. And we said it was three apples when we combined them. Well, what if instead of saying apples, we just said A, A standing for apples. So then we'd have two A plus A. And we know there's three A. So um, you, we can't, A doesn't always represent apples, but it does, but that helps us think through it. It can represent anything. So let's keep going. What if we had one apple plus one banana plus two apples plus another banana? Well, how would we figure out that? Oh yeah, we would combine like items or terms, right? Put our bananas together and put our apples together. And we have, you can see that we have three apples plus two bananas. Let me just take a second and get these set aside. We don't need our fruit anymore, but we're sure glad our fruit came to join us today. So let's look at this in a picture. We have one apple plus one banana plus two apples plus one banana. That's what we had set out. And we combine like, like items or like terms and we had three apples plus two bananas. And just like we labeled the other one with variables, we could do the same. So if we're coming back at the top, there's our one apple, our A, there's our B, there's two A plus B. And we could combine the A plus the two A and it's three A and our B plus B is two B. Oh, you're just doing great. We got this. Let's keep going. Remember, though, we're trying to think of with X's. So let's take it in that direction. So go ahead and get out your algebra tiles. And let's think of some simpler um, problems. So we have 4X. So this is our X, and we have four of them. So one, two three, four, and we just keep going along. We have plus three. So there's three of the smaller ones. One, two, three, minus two X. So we have negative two of the X's. So here's our negative X minus one. So it's red. And then we're just gonna start zeroing out. So x minus x equals zero. We can do the same here. And we know that one minus one equals zero. And so what we have left over is two of the greens or two of the x's plus two of the browns. So two x plus two. Well, let's try it with another one. Let's add in our x squared. So, um, our x squared is this blue. If we think of that, it's x times x, length times width. So if you're thinking of area, and um, it, it's x squared. So we need three of these blue, which are x squared. 
and then minus x squared, we need one, the red x squared, plus one, so we need the one, and we're just gonna zero them out. Zeroes out, and we have, this is our x squared, so we have two of them, two of our x squared plus one, so two x squared plus one. Oh, we're doing amazing. Let's try this same thing, these same problems with pictures. So this is what we had set up before. We had four of the green, four x plus three minus two x minus one. And though on paper we can't scoot them over, we can sure cover them. So these zero out, these zero out, and we have two of the green or two x plus two. So two x plus two, you can see that right there, two x plus two. And let's try the pictures with this one. So we had three of those blues, so three of the x squared, one, two, three, and a negative x squared, and plus one. And so we can zero that out. We have two x squared plus one. Let's see, two x squared plus one. All right, we've done this with um, tools, our algebra tiles, and we've done it with pictures. Now let's try to take it to um, numbers. A little more abstract. So let's go back to this one right here. So when we look at that, hopefully you're starting to see some terms you can combine. So I see a 4x. Do you see another x? Oh yeah, the 2x. But it's negative. So let's write it here. So we're combining 4x minus 2x. Well, we can think of that as 4 apples minus 2 apples. And if we had 4 apples minus 2 apples, it would be 2 apples, right? But it is 2x. I'm going to track this at the bottom. And then let's do the other one. So we've already used these. Now we have a 3 minus 1. And we're amazing at this. We're going to combine our numbers. We've been doing this since kindergarten. 3 minus 1 is 2. So 2x plus 2. And let's see how we did. Awesome. We did it. Let's do one more that way. Try this one again. So 3x squared minus x squared plus 1. So we have two terms we can combine that are x squared. So this is like thinking we could think three bananas because they're the same terms. Three bananas minus one banana. And we know three bananas minus one banana is two bananas. But it's x squared. And we're just going to write it on the bottom. And the only thing left we have is 1, so we're going to add our 1. Well, let's see how we did. 2x squared plus 1. Awesome. We are ready for our harder one. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. We were looking at 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus x squared minus 2 minus x. And hopefully this isn't so scary like it was at the first because we know we've learned a lot of things about how to combine um, variables and numbers. So we can see x squared. Can you see another that's the same or like term? Yeah, a negative x squared. So let's write it down. 2x squared minus x squared. So that's like saying I have two bananas minus one banana. And how many bananas do we have left now? Just one. Just one x squared. Woo, we've got the hardest one done. Let's go to our x's. I see a 3x. Do you see another x? What is it? Yeah, it's a negative x. Okay, so if we're thinking of our tiles, we are thinking of, we have three of our green and one of our red. So 3x minus x. 3 minus 1 is 2, and we're working in our terms are x's. 3 plus 2x. Whew, we have the easiest part left. We just have our numbers, and we've been working with those since kindergarten, so we got this. So we have 1, a positive 1, and a negative 2. 
we're going to do 1 minus 2. And we've done a lot of this lately that we know 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. So x squared plus 2x minus 1. Let's see. We did it. Well, if this gets confusing, we can always go back to our um, algebra tiles. We can always go back to pictures. And so let's check this with our algebra titles. Let's see. So our original problem was right here. And we here's our x squared. We had two of them. Plus 3x. We had three of our x's. Plus 1 minus x squared, or negative x squared, minus 2, and our negative x. So now we're just going to zero them out. We know that these cancel out or zero out. We know that these zero out. And we know what those do. So let's see. We have, this is our x squared, so we have one of those. 1x squared plus 2x minus 1. So x squared plus 2x minus 1. We got it. That's awesome. Well, thank you for thinking with me and um, thinking about combining like terms. We'll have lots of practice and we'll keep trying. Bye-bye.